Many of you are probably aware that President Biden recently got diagnosed with prostate cancer, but what you probably aren't aware of is that prostate cancer is actually very amenable to diet. In this landmark study uh, by Dean Ornish and his group, uh, they took 93 men with early prostate cancer. They put half of the group on a plant-based diet, the other half on a standard American diet. Uh, and what they found in one year is the PSA level went down 4% uh, in the plant-based group and went up 6% in the standard American diet group. They also looked at uh, epigenetics and they found that there were 48 good genes that were upregulated and there were 453 genes that were downregulated in the plant-based group. So there was a very positive effect on gene expression. Now on social media, there are many proponents of these ketogenic diets. Uh, Dr. Irvi Shaw and uh, Dr. Evengar from uh, Sloan Kettering really have dedicated their careers to analyzing the difference between plant-based diets and ketogenic diets with cancer risk and also during cancer therapy. And they've come to the conclusion that a plant-based diet works better than a ketogenic diet. In fact, Irvi Shaw recently published this very impressive study on myeloma. Uh, she found that uh, the myeloma patients did much better when they were on a plant-based diet. In this very large meta-analysis, over 3 million people, uh, they found that a plant-based diet had a pause effect on every type of different digestive cancer. And in this other large meta-analysis, they found that plant-based diets had a pause effect on several different types of cancers. What most people don't realize, when you do a therapeutic ketogenic diet, I mean, it's 90% Fat. And I don't know if any of you have ever tried a ketogenic diet like this, but you feel very tired, you have trouble sleeping, you have low libido. Most people do a standard ketogenic diet, it's about 75% uh, fat, um, but that does not get you into ketosis. And that's really what you need to do if you're going to use this as a uh, cancer treatment. The thing I don't like about either of these ketogenic diets are very high in saturated fat. The saturated fat accumulates in the muscle cells and also in the liver cells. And what it does is it mucks up the insulin receptors. Uh, the insulin can't get the glucose into the cell. And uh, as long as you are doing the ketogenic diet, your blood sugar will be low. But as soon as you go off, your blood sugar will go through the roof. In fact, I've had several patients that have done ketogenic diets. They went off of it and their blood sugars just went totally off the wall. In fact, one of them ended up having a heart attack during uh, the event. The other thing long term uh, is that this will increase your LDL and your ApoB. And I don't care what anybody says on social media. I mean, study after study has shown that the higher your LDL level, the higher your chances of getting cardiac uh, events like heart attacks and strokes. The other thing I don't like about this is that even in three months in this study, it showed that there was an 8% decrease in muscle volume. Um, and the reason this happens is your body does prefer glucose over ketones. So it'll start breaking down your muscle into protein, protein into amino acids, and amino acids into glucose. Uh, there are several studies now that are coming out that show in these ketogenic high fat diets actually make these cancers more aggressive. Uh, they increase the amount of clotting factors, increase inflammation. They can actually alter the blood vessels so that these cancers can actually uh, spread and be more aggressive. So I recommend a whole food plant-based diet if you take a screenshot of this. Um, if you wanna eat meat, I recommend a fatty fish like a wild-caught salmon, uh, anchovies or sardines are even preferable to that because they have less toxins in them. But try to keep your plants to anywhere from 90 to 95% of your total uh, intake. And just remember that cancer has three different feeding sources. If it doesn't get enough glucose, It'll go to cholesterol or it'll go to glutamine protein. Um, the thing I like about a plant-based diet, like I personally eat probably about 60% complex carbs, 20% uh, fat, which is primarily monounsaturated, polyunsaturated fat, and then uh, about 20% protein. Um, so the thing that you really need to understand is that you do need to keep your carbs complex. As long as you do that, your blood sugar levels will be very, very low and steady. Don't eat refined carbs like all this junk food that you see on the left. So I hope this helps you. And if you're interested in a consultation, just go to my website, hit shop, virtual consultations, and I would love to chat with you.